Good morning and welcome to Coffee with Karma. And today I'm going to be sharing the five reasons, or at least five of my reasons, for writing a book a month in 2024. Am I crazy? I'll let you be the judge. And that was a really bad wink. I'm not a good winker. <laughs> Hi, my name is Karma Spence, and I help entrepreneurs write a lead attracting book in 90 days or less. This water is driving me crazy. There you go. So I have had this idea in my head that I wanted to do a book a month for years, and I've just never, I've never done it. I've heard all sorts of good things about having multiple books on Amazon. And so I finally said, you know, in 2024, I'm going to bite the bullet and I am going to do it. So I started planning this. In fact, actually, I wanted to start dropping a book a month in October, but I, my schedule just got crazy and I couldn't do it. But I've been planning this and planning out which books I was going to write and how I was going to manage this because I do have a very tight schedule. I couldn't write full length, you know, 200 page books that are going to be on a bookshelf somewhere one a month. That's, that's insane. Um, and I don't, I don't know if very many people could do that anyway, even if they had nothing else to do. So what I decided to do is to write very targeted short books, things that would show up in your short reads. Now there will be a couple of books I've planned for this year that will be full length books, but the vast majority of them will be short, pithy books that will get to the point and solve one single problem. That's how I decided to do it. And this is why. This is why I've decided to go on this journey this year. Reason number one, I want to leverage Amazon's algorithms. You see, there's a lot of reasons why having... Oh, I wish that would... Yeah, anyway... There are multiple reasons why having a book come out regularly, at least every three months, helps you go up in the Amazon's algorithms. Number one, you have followers. In fact, I have 2,000 and change followers right now on Amazon, and I'm trying to grow the, those even further. But why, why does that matter? Every time you drop a book, every time you release a book, those Amazon emails the, your followers and says, guess what? An author that you follow has just released a book. So that means every time I release a book, at least 2,000 people are going to hear about it without me lifting a finger. Then, of course, I'm, gonna, I'm obviously going to be talking about it in social media like I am just now. Um, I'm going to send in, um, information to my email list. And so lots of people are going to know about my book and a good percentage of them I mean, I'm happy if just one to two percent of the people who find out go and buy the book because that already could make it a bestseller in at least one category. And of course, when your book becomes a bestseller, again, Amazon goes, oh, people like this book and they push it up even higher. And on top of that, when one person sees one of your books, they might see, they'll like click that link with your name on it and they'll go see the rest of your books. So continuously, having books on dropping on Amazon, it leverages the Amazon algorithm. So that's reason number one. I mean, I'm hoping that this will increase my monthly royalties. That would be nice. Number two, consistent visibility. There it goes again. I guess when you say two, balloons happen. Don't know why. That's weird. That's weird. Okay. It throws me off. So reason number two, consistent visibility. When you're consistently dropping a book, you're consistently being visible to people saying, hey, I'm an author. Here you go. So, I mean, I've, I've been self-identifying as an author for many years and I actually am an author. I mean, I have books and everything, but it's like, I don't live an author's lifestyle because I'm so busy doing other things. And I thought, you know what? I want to live as an author. I love being an author and I love having books. So here I am. I am acting like an author. I am writing books with an S, plural. And it gets me constant visibility on Amazon as well as in front of my social media and my email list because guess what? They're following an author. Authors write books. 
three, monetizing rapidly. A lot, I've been reading about this a lot. Apparently, publishing books regularly, at least one every three months, better every other month, even better every month, which is why I'm going to try this experiment this year, increases your royalties exponentially. Right now, my royalties of the year maybe buy me a couple of good books or a month worth of coffee with karma. <laughs> but if I am consistently adding to my portfolio of books and, and because I do have a portfolio of books, it's just that they're all in different genres. So a person who reads this book isn't going to read the rest of my books. What I'm doing this year, all my books are going to be aimed at people who want to be an author or who are authors. So if they read one of my books, they're probably going to want to read other versions of other books of mine as well. So I will be building out a portfolio in pretty much in a single genre. I do have a couple of mindset books that, but I'm going to be aiming them toward authors too. So um, basically, if you read one of my books, you'll want to read other of my books. And that's part. So if that helps monetize it fast, because if they buy one book, they'll buy two or three or four or more. And as you continuously do that, you build up your monthly royalties. Um, enhancing SEO and discoverability. That's number four. Number four is enhancing SEO and discoverability. So the more books means the more content that can show up in searches, both on Amazon and on Google, because Amazon books show up on Google. I don't know if you've ever done this, but if you type in an author's name in Google, their Amazon books will show up. In fact, not only their Amazon books, but wherever their book shows up. So you'll see their book at Walmart, their book at Amazon, their book at Barnes & Noble, and they'll all be at the top. Well, the more books I have, the more likely that kind of result will show up in people's searches and they'll go, oh, she's an author. Maybe I'll check her out. So it increases that. Uh, number five, creating bundle opportunities. Now this, this is my grand, my evil plot to take over the world. The book that drops today is book one in the Authoneer's Journey series. There are going to be five books in that series. Once all five books have dropped as ebooks, probably next year, because I've already got the rest of the books planned, but if I need to switch up, I can. I'm going to bundle them into an anthology, which will be available as a boxed, a box set ebook set or an anthology physical book bundling opportunities. And I just finished reading a book called 28 Books to 100K. And apparently, authors who have 28 books available on Amazon are actually able to make 100K a year on their royalties. And it's not just 28 books, it's 28 things. So if you, so public speaking superpowers, right? That's one book, right? But right now it has three versions, ebook, paperback, hardcover. So that's three already, three products that I have available on Amazon, in addition to all the other ebooks and my other books that are available on Amazon. So I'm probably about a third of the way to my 28 books. So we'll see, we'll see what happens. And then my bonus reason, number six. Six. <laughs> and that is establishing authority and credibility. When you have a portfolio of books on the same general topic in the general, general same area, you are seen as a greater authority than if you are the author of a single book. So it behooves you to write a series because then it, it gives you greater credibility and authority. So these are the reasons why I'm doing that. It is an experiment for a year. We'll see how it is. I've got a spreadsheet. Yes, I've got my spreadsheet. I've got a spreadsheet where I'm going to be tracking my monthly royalties over time. I've already got all my royalties from 2023. I want to see how they change in 2024. I might even do charts and share them because I like the way Excel can go. Oh, here's a pie chart. Here's a bar chart. I love charts. They're fun. <laughs> so my book is now, I uploaded the version of my book last night. I used Atticus to format it, formats it fast. 
and it even noticed that I had some uh, quotes that were straight and some that were curly and I had to go and fix them so that would be consistent. That was pretty cool. I've never seen that before. So I uploaded it last night and it is available for pre-order. If you would like to check my book out on Amazon, you can just go to Amazon and search for my name and search for It All Starts With An Idea. Or why don't you drop a comment in, somewhere around this video and say pre-order and I will get you guys it's in pre-order for 99 cents. That means when it drops, it'll be nine. You'll be charged ninety nine cents when it when it drops on January sixteenth. And if you do that, and you give me a three, four, or five star review and send a snapshot of that review to me, I will give you a gift. I'm still deciding on what the best gift is, but it will definitely be worth more than ninety nine cents. <laughs> so this is the end of today's coffee with karma. I hope you have a wonderful day. And tomorrow, which is Thursday, I will be talking about the five reasons you should not fall in love with your working title. This is Karma Spence saying, ciao for now.